All right, I'm going to tell you a little story. So pull up your pants, sit down. Ready? All right, here we go. What if the only thing you knew about food was Smarties? That's right, Smarties. Just untwist them, chuck them in your mouth. Hell, you don't even need to chew. And enjoy that near instantaneous sugar rush and the wonderful flavor of... Hold on. Uh, flavor of... That flavor of natural and artificial. <laughs> so there you are, eating your Smarties, enjoying yourself, because hell, when it comes to food, Smarties is all you know. So, when one of your friends comes to you and says, hey, I'll make you some food, you think, I'm going to get me some Smarties. But then, this happens. And you're thinking, what the hell is this stuff? But out of respect for your friend, you give it a go. And after the mess is cleaned up and chewing and the use of silverware is explained to you, you give it another try. But wait, that's not it. There's more. And then it is finally over. And you think, wow, that took a long time. But then your friend tells you that there's a way to eat food where you have to drive to the separate building and you got to wear different clothes and you you sit down at this table and they bring you stuff and the whole process could take an hour hour and a half and it costs like the price of like 10 bags of smarties and you think to yourself why would anybody put themselves through so much trouble when you can just chuck smarties in your face but then you think well, you know, after you got over that initial disappointment of not feeling that great sugar rush, this kind of food was oddly satisfying. And besides that, you find like after you've eaten like an entire bag of Smarties, fart them down your throat, that you tend to feel kind of wound up and twitchy. But after eating this other food, you feel kind of calm and relaxed. And you think to yourself, you know, maybe there's something to this. And that's the story I wanted to tell you. And what's the point of all this? Simply, it's about meeting expectations. Think of our Smarties Chugging buddy here. Me! Like me. His expectations were set at Smarties, what he got was a meal, soup, salad, and then some spaghetti. And so these two things, expectations of what he was going to get and what he did get, were wildly different. And here's the thing. If what you're expecting is different from what you actually get, you may miss out on something that you might otherwise enjoy merely because it didn't fit your expectations. Now let's equate... Smarties with pop music. Now both Smarties and pop music are great, but they're not the totality of either food or music. 
And the good thing is, is you don't need to make a decision between either one of these extremes because they're not mutually exclusive. You can love Smarties and you can love your spaghetti and meatballs. You can love pop music and you can enjoy the longer format forms of music. And hopefully love either one or better yet, love the music that I am about to release, which is an album of four songs. But the shortest one, the shortest one on this album is 10 minutes and six seconds. So more in the meal, spaghetti thing, you know, maybe just hamburger, french fries, and chocolate shake, but less in the Smarties pop music and more in the longer format storytelling music. And the reason I made this video is to set expectations so that you're primed for what you're going to get instead of being confused like our Smarties guzzling friend at the beginning of the video. <laughs> in closing, as I'm using YouTube as a promotional platform, I gotta say that thing that all the YouTube guys say, because to get your video promoted, it's gotta satisfy the algorithm, and here's what the algorithm likes. It likes people to subscribe, it likes people to click the like button, and it also likes comments. Now, after my last video about self-promotion, there was a good discussion about that video, except it happened on Facebook. So if this does spark some sort of reaction, can you put it down in the comments and then I'll respond. We can have that conversation there and then the stupid algorithm will be happy. All right, that's it. Now, um, I don't know what am I gonna do with this big bag of Smarties now that I'm done with this video. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha,